welcome back to another video breaking news japan are not going to play in the eight nations that was scheduled to take place at the end of this year to replace the november internationals it was big excitement when the six nations uh, or the when bill Bermont and world rugby announced that the six nations team will create their own eight-man tournament which would feature fiji and japan however japan have announced that they will not travel to take part due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic no word from fiji as to whether or not they will continue but japan along with fiji were supposed to join the six nations team but obviously due to this pandemic we won't see japan taking place which is unfortunate because it would have been great to see what japan could have done japan obviously causing a few headaches in their irb rugby world cup or world rugby rugby world cup when they beat both ireland and scotland um, in exciting battles and it would have been interesting to see how those rematches would have been especially with the fact that there's been not much international rugby now six nations is due to take place in october to finish off those last two weekends and then we were going to be hit with an exciting eight nations tournament which would feature japan and fiji but now that japan's out who is going to replace them Firstly, obviously no confirmation as this has pretty much just been announced. But why not reshake things up? I know we've got a rugby championship. We've got to get going. But at this stage, we're not quite sure whether or not South Africa are going to be in the mix. As we are still under heavy lockdown in South Africa and we can't... Tr and our borders are still closed unless they allow the Springboks out, which I'm hoping is going to be the case. But why not shake this tournament up? Make it a mini, a mini World Cup. You know, we need to bring the fans and make it globally entertaining. One way to do it is create a little mini World Cup for the guys and bring in New Zealand, bring in Australia, and let's do an awesome tournament over in Europe or bring it down to New Zealand or Australasia. Obviously, depending on how hectic the COVID-19 pandemic gets by the time we hit those times, because as we've seen, this comes and goes and peaks comes and goes as well. So we just don't know. But having Japan last is definitely space for one more team. And I think it would only be even more exciting from a global point of view if we can include another bigger nation. Now, obviously, you want to grow the specific island teams like your Samoas and Tonga. But obviously, World Rugby have pretty much deserted Tonga, as we saw, um, not willing to bail them out financially. Why not give an opportunity to Georgia? I mean, obviously, personally, as a Southern Hemisphere uh, fan, I want to see Australia, South Africa or New Zealand or, or even Argentina join the tournament to just make it a, like a mini World Cup to make it exciting. But if that's not the case due to the pandemic and due to the rugby championship taking place in that time, why not give Georgia the p opportunity that they pretty much deserve? If there's a team um, of that status who deserves an opportunity to be given some sort of movement or foot in the door to six nations it's georgia they've put up their efforts they've progressed they've improved they've been competitive and why not give them a go and um, watch them do something different i mean yes they might get a little hammering here and there but playing against a team like fiji or italy could be very entertaining watching georgia i mean we can never write them off and uh, that's what makes this game so exciting and um it can just ignite this tournament as well. Now, obviously, you're favouring Europe, of course, but Georgia deserve it, whether you're a Southern Hemisphere fan or a Northern Hemisphere fan. And I think it will be greatly deserved for this team to do it. Now, obviously, they were set to join Scotland, Italy and France. This is Japan I'm talking about in Group 2. But due to the pandemic, that is not going to happen. So why not put in Georgia in this group? Now, obviously, Group 1 is pretty much a dominant group for the top teams. But let's not forget, Scotland and France are also not teams you can write off. However, adding a team like Georgia to the mix could cause a stir here and there. France started off Six Nations with a bang, but then got a little bit tired at the end there. Scotland, oh, you can never write them off. But a team like Georgia, if they have something to prove, they can definitely cause a headache for one of these teams to maybe not get through to that next stage. You've got Italy in the same group. We've all talked, should there be a relegation between Italy and Georgia in Six Nations? Should Georgia uh, replace Italy 
without even relegation because they haven't produced the goods. But obviously history, you know, you want the Six Nations to stay the same. But you also want to give opportunities to teams like Georgia to grow and develop and to show that um, they have something to offer. So my suggestion, if we can't get South Africa, New Zealand and Australia involved, as well as Argentina, replace Japan with Georgia. Give Georgia the opportunity that they deserve. If you're a Six Nations fan or not, I'm pretty sure you will agree with me that Georgia definitely deserve an opportunity. And now that Japan cannot make the Eight Nations, bring in Georgia to replace them. To do for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you real soon for another one thanks so much for watching stay safe and never give up cheers